All right, let's cut to the chase. This video is about views. YouTube views. More specifically, it's about little tricks you need to know to get more views on YouTube. Now that I've hit my SEO target, let's get this video started. Hey guys, this is Jan from Studio Tail, and today we're going to be discussing the top 10 tips for getting more views on YouTube. Tip number one, content is king. Okay, this one's a no-brainer. A lot of people complain about not getting enough views on their videos when their videos, well, uh, they suck. The only way you're going to get anywhere near the attention you're looking for is by creating quality content. Give your audience something that adds value to their lives. Something that answers their questions. Something they're going to remember for a while. Concentrate on creating quality content consistently and watch your video views take off. Tip number two, video optimization. Always keep this in mind. YouTube is at its very core a search engine and that means you need to think about SEO. There are four major areas for optimization. One, title. You absolutely have to include a target keyword in the title. This helps YouTube understand what your video is about and also helps in finding your video with more ease. It also helps to add the keyword at the beginning as YouTube puts more weight when it's the first thing in the title. At the same time, make sure the title is absolute eye candy. Hint at what the video is about without giving away too much. Some studies have shown that little things like using numbers or adding words in brackets to your title can do wonders for the view count. 2. Description Your video description is kind of like a mini blog. Be thorough. You're basically telling the viewer the information your video contains. But this isn't just for the viewer. Adding keywords into the description will tell search engines to rank the video for that particular topic. So just like with titles, you absolutely have to include your target keyword here. Here's a basic description format that Brian Dean of Backlinko recommends. Start with an introduction of two to three sentences, the content of the video in a nutshell. This is the part the viewers will see when they preview your video. Follow this up with a detailed outline of the video. Go in depth and add in the right keywords. This part should be at least 150 words for best results. Lastly, drop in any links that you want to share with your viewers, websites, social media pages, blog posts, etc. Three, Tags Getting carried away with tags on YouTube is easy, but it isn't particularly great for video SEO. The key is to not overuse tags. Using tags that cover a wide range of topics signal to search engines that the video isn't focused and therefore not quality content. Make sure the tags you use cover narrow topics so the search engines can classify the video better. Optimizing these variables helps you rank for YouTube's suggested videos. That's right. Using the right title, description and tags can help you get traffic from your competitors whose viewers are looking for a video to watch next. Tip number three, nailing your first impression. And by first impression, I mean your thumbnail. It's the first thing anyone sees, so make it count. Make it vibrant, contrasting, add a face, add some text. Great thumbnails draw a lot of attention from online traffic, attention that you're looking for. Tip number four, calling them into action. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please take a moment to like, share, comment and subscribe. See what I just did? I just got myself some likes, shares, comments and subscribers. Want something to the viewer? Tell them. Call on to them to take action. Give them a reason to interact with your video. The more interactions your video gets, the more views that flow in. Tip number 5. YouTube cards and end screens. One great way to get the user to remember you is by getting them to take action. I know what you're thinking. How do I get my viewers to interact with the YouTube video? Two very easy ways of doing this are YouTube cards and end screens. This is a YouTube card. I can add this little thing anywhere in the video. By using these cards, you give your viewers the ability to take action directly from your video. YouTube provides different kinds of cards for different purposes. You can get video and playlist cards to promote your own content, channel cards to promote other channels, cards to accept donations, cards for polls, and cards that let you link to other websites. This one is linked to our blog, the Video Hub. End screens are like cards, but they appear at the end of the video. You can suggest videos or playlists and prompt the user into watching more of your content. You could even add an on-screen subscribe button to get your viewer into your community. Tip number six, playing with playlists. Let's talk about autoplay. It's a feature that most of us use when we're not in the mood to actually look for content ourselves. And that in itself is a huge opportunity to get more views. You can use the autoplay function to guide viewers to more of your content once a video is done. 
how creating playlists group your existing videos under different topics and create youtube playlists around those topics make sure you give an eye catching keyword centric name to each playlist that you create youtube will auto play these videos and your viewers end up watching more of your content to improve your playlist performance even more try making things visually interesting and alternating between the playlist layouts that youtube offers the bottom line creating custom playlists under most search topics will help boost your view count tip number 7 watch and session time okay i can't go any further until i've explained these two vital factors in youtube's ranking algorithm first up watch time watch time is basically the amount of time your viewers spend watching your videos increasing your channel's watch time helps your video signal to youtube that your content is entertaining enough to be featured on the home page suggested videos and a whole lot of other places on the platform so how do you increase watch time One way is to make longer engaging videos. If your content is interesting enough to the viewers, they will stick around longer and increase your watch time considerably. Next up, session time. YouTube tries to keep people on their platform for as long as possible. It's how they make their money after all, which is why they reward videos which can help them do that. This is where session time comes into play. Session time is the amount of time a user spends on YouTube after watching your video before they divert to another website. If your videos generate a higher session time for YouTube, then YouTube will help you rank higher in the suggested videos list. A simple way to increase session time is to place your best videos on your end screens, channel page and playlists. That way, you're enticing people to watch more videos, increasing session time while you're doing it. Tip number 8, enable embedding. This is something I can't stress enough. You need to increase your video shareability to make it easier for your viewers to get your content out to new audiences. One way to do that is to enable video embedding. This way, viewers who enjoyed your content can share it anywhere, giving your view count a massive boost. One more thing, when you enable your video embedding, make sure you start the chain by embedding the video on your blog as well. YouTube gives preferences to videos that draw external audiences. Tip number 9, use social media. Okay, here's the thing about promoting a video on social media. Just like YouTube, Facebook's algorithm tries to hide content that will divert its viewers to another platform. So, how do you overcome this? By uploading a small trailer to the video through Facebook's native video player. This means Facebook will boost your trailer on its platform. Linking the full video in the comments will divert traffic organically to your YouTube video, raking in more views. The same goes for all social media websites. For popular forums like Quora and Reddit, try looking for questions that you can answer with your video. Explain your answer and then link your video under it. This way, you introduce your content to audiences who are looking for it. Boom, more views. Make sure you don't go around posting your video everywhere though. That's just uncool. Not to mention, you're going to annoy a lot of people. Tip number 10: Attract more views from your niche community. This one's important. The best way to consistently get more views is to be consistent in your videos too. Don't confuse your viewers and drive them away with videos of literally everything possible. You need to pick a niche and your content and stick to it. Generate a buzz in that category. This way you signal to YouTube that you're an authority on that topic and they rank your videos higher in that niche. And once you've created your niche, you'll also need to interact with the community that watches your videos. Take time to reply to comments under your videos and make your viewers feel valued. And when you can, attract more views by inviting guests from your niche into your videos. Similarly, comment on other videos in your niche and show YouTube that you're an active member of this niche community. This boosts your channel's value in YouTube's algorithm. Here are a couple of other bonus pointers you'll need to remember. Stay up to date with trends. Look for topics viewers are searching for right now and create content for it. This is going to open a floodgate of organic views. Rank on Google as well. Whatever your target keyword is, say it loud. Enunciate at least 4 to 5 times in your video. Google picks up these keywords and ranks your video to search terms. Also, upload transcription so Google can understand your video entirely and rank it better. Lastly, take a good look at YouTube Analytics every time you upload a video. YouTube Analytics shows you a wide range of variables to help you understand your channel's performance. 
there's a lot of things you can learn from here so make it count and that's it those were our top 10 tips on getting more views on youtube what do you think of our list is there anything we left out let us know in the comments below and as always like share comment and subscribe catch you in the next one j dog out